Okay, so we're here today. We're gonna build a new fence. Let's take a look. As you can see, the fence is in very rough shape. It's pretty much rotted all the way through, almost all the way along. Lots of pieces missing. So we're gonna see if we can make it look a little nicer. Yeah, those boards are just falling off and the whole thing is in very rough shape. In fact, it was in such rough shape that I just literally pulled the whole thing apart with my hands. I don't even think I used a tool at this point. I was just pulling the boards off. They might have needed a small tap with a hammer. And then even the main two by sixes, the horizontal pieces, I just pulled those off. They just broke in my hands. Loading up everything to the truck and off to the dump. Here's the first load of lumber. A whole bunch of two by six treated and cedar fence boards. And so here we are putting the fence back together. I started off with the horizontal boards, the two by six treated, and I'm just measuring and drilling holes and they're attached over top of the existing metal fence posts. The existing metal posts were in pretty good shape and they were nice and straight. So all I did was paint them with a coat of trim clad rust paint. And then, like I said, measured and drilled the holes and they just kind of slotted over top of those existing poles. Um, and then just screwed everything together with some uprights. You can see right here how those poles are kind of poking through at the top there. So the fence itself is pretty much just kind of like resting with those poles running vertically through it. All right, time to put on some of the fence boards. So let's just throw a whole bunch on the chop saw here and we're just gonna cut, I don't know, as many as we can at a time. I measured the length and just cut a whole bunch so that I could run over there and start attaching them as quickly as possible. Boy, look at that pile just disappearing. Just a couple more cuts, four or five boards at a time. There we go, whatever I can fit on the chop saw. Last little pile, and I got a whole bunch of cool little cedar offcuts now. All right, here we are putting the uprights on, and I just had a spacer that I used. So I was just putting a board on, and then spacer, then drill, drill, spacer, drill, drill, spacer, drill, drill. And then about every four or five boards, I would use my level to make sure that they were still nice and plumb, nice and straight up and down. And then spacer, drill, drill, spacer, drill, drill. And I also had a block that I used so that I got them all at the exact same height as I was attached to them. You can see the block moving along as I'm going. And here I am putting the pieces on the back side of the fence and I'm offsetting them so that uh, when you look straight on the fence, you don't see the big gaps, uh, kind of a stand. It's, it's the same design that it was. I'm essentially rebuilding the exact same fence that was there. So spacer, drill, drill, spacer, drill, drill, spacer, drill, drill. Got a little tougher on this side because there was some bushes in the way, but here we go. And there we go, all done. It's a pretty basic fence, but it looks pretty nice with the uh, cedar on both sides and it's very straight. And now it matches the nice little fence and gate that's there already. Excellent, on to the next project.